Peggy 16. The Hunter Call of the World released in 2017 on PCs and console. The gist of the game, I would say, is it's a first-person hunting experience. Uh, we have a really big world that you can explore freely and you can explore it by yourself or with your friends. We have a co-op multiplayer with up to eight players right now. I'm most excited about having a dog in the game uh, because I have a dog myself. So I like to go on adventures and do different things with him and explore the world. I think having someone just gives you that extra companionship that's super enjoyable that you would enjoy in real life. Everybody has in their life met a dog or interacted with a dog. So that's why everybody has a deep understanding of how dogs naturally are and move. We decided to start with mocap because it allows us to get a, a, another level of realism in the movement of the dog. And it allows us to catch all the minute movements a dog might have in any circumstance and translate that into dog animations. One of my big challenges is to have him relaxed enabling him to work when it's time to work. And that to find that on and off switch is uh, very important and very rewarding when you do it. When you're able to have a dog and you can turn him off, so to say, have him relaxed to uh, recap and, and get ready for the next session. When I think about the game as being unique, I think a lot about how we treat our worlds. And, and that may be an Avalanche Studios group, an expensive world thing where the world is its own character. So we want it to not only be a place where the player is set in, but we want it to be breathing and living and feel like it's real and really its own character. The challenges that we face when we create a digital dog are many. It's a very difficult process. In general, it starts with us having a meeting across the team where we discuss the broad strokes of how we want the dog to work. Then the design team goes back and tries to research a lot of different angles. We look at the different dog breeds, we look at the different hunting types, we look at how different people use the dogs in their everyday lives. And we also go back and look at Hunter Classic to see what might have been annoying for the community. And we compile a type of report of this is the thing we want to do with the dog, this is the type of design we're looking for. And while we're doing this, the rest of the team also does research. So they go and look at movement lists, how we want to mocap, we structure that, those things. Our sound designers create profiles for how the dog should sound. And the programmers also structure their the AI and how we want that to work. It's very collaborative, so everybody on the team has to add their expertise to make sure the dog works in the game. As a developer, I'm very excited to see player reactions as they get to use their dog and have it be useful in hunting situations. But as a player, I'm very excited to have the dog grow in skill with you and get a connection with the dog.